Hello everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model this machine component as Geneva will using Creo parametric. Let's get started. So, first go to open the Creo parametric, go to new, here solid part, untick this use default template and give OK. Now, just go to the model. Our model are in inches. So, choose the inches template. So, this is inches, LBS, part, solid, absolute and click OK. Now, just see the model. So, this is the model. We just want to model it. First, we see uh, radius 4 inch. We just want to make a circle. Then, we just want to remove material from this slot. Then, this one we just want to remove it. After removing this, we just want to make this key, key vacant. So, in for that, the radius is uh, diameter is 2.5 and this circle diameter is 1.5. This key way rectangular key way cut is 0.2 and 0.36. Now, I just making this side. Just select the front plane, sketch, sketch view. Now, just go to circle, I'm just creating the circle, press enter. Now, this diameter it shows 242.16, but our radius is 4. Go to dimension, click this outer edge, and press the roller. Now the radius is 4, press 4 and click this fit screen. Now just click this and move it to here and click this fit screen. So this is a radius 4 circle, then click OK. Now see the thickness of this uh, outer circle is 0.5, just go to extrude. Just rotate your object by using a mouse roller. Select this symmetric and thickness is 0.5. Specify this 0.5. Then click OK. Now I have created the circle. Then I just want to make this cut here. So select this front surface. Go to sketch. Sketch view. So here I just want to make it. First, just create a circle randomly. The circle center distance is 2.25 from the center distance of the main circle. So, this distance is 2.25 and this circle radius is 0 0.38. Just go to dimension, click this outer edge and press the roller. This radius is 0 0.38. Press enter. Now, this is I have done. Then Go to line. Here you can see this is horizontal line. Make it bigger and press the roller again. You just go here. Equal length. Just connect it here. So this is I have done. Then remove the unwanted edges by using delete segments. Just click take this delete segment and remove this one and remove this one. Then again press the roller. You can see. So, this is we can keep it up to this or extra also, that is not an issue. Then, so the sketch is done, then click OK. So, this is a sketch, we just want to extrude along this, go to extrude, change the direction by clicking this. Here, we just want to remove the material, remove material, you can see, so this is removing the material. So, here you just choose to, to next. So it will remove the material up to this surface, from this surface to this surface. Then click OK. Now I have created the cut of this. Then I just want to make a pattern. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times. So select this extrude 2. Go to pattern, just click pattern. Here we just want to make an axis pattern. For that you just click here. Make it axis. 
here we just want to choose the axis so this is axis here not to 90 degree just select this angular 360 degree number of pattern you just make it to 6 just press enter here you can see it will make 6 then you just click ok so now we have created the second step material remover third step also the material remover so this arc this, this thing we just want to remove the material for that select this same front surface go to sketch sketch view now for our sketching purpose take the reference of this outer edge just close now we just want to make a circle of radius 1.5 from center distance here to here 4.5 okay just take the circle here somewhere just make it this diameter it shows but we just want to radius this radius is 1.5 and this distance is 4.5 now we have done sketching then just click ok here you can see then again go to extrude here you just change the direction to next up to this we just want to make and remove material here you can see this is the cut we just want to make then press the work press ok or press the roller to confirm now we just want to make this same pet cut in all the things 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 times so select this x to 3 make sure you have selected this x to x to 3 then select this pattern just go to axis now we just want to choose the axis choose this axis change into angular extent number of time is 16 6 so 6 times just okay now we have created this then then we just want to make this this portion for that just select the surface go to sketch sketch view now the outer circle radius is outer circle diameter they have given the diameter is 2.5 then the thickness of this is 0 0.5 just simply you just make a circle so this diameter is 2.5 then ok see then extrude so extrude direction also this side only the thickness is 0 0.5 here we, we should not make symmetric because one side only we just want to make a thickness of 0 0.5 then just click ok now we have created this then finally we just want to make this give a cut for that select the surface sketch sketch view now we just want to make a circle circle of diameter 1.5 then we just want to make a keyway simply we just take a rectangle make it here this width is 0 0.36 and this height is 0 0.2 0 0.2 make this symmetric just go to symmetric select this point and this point and make it to this axis this is already symmetric so undo it and this height from this point to this height they have specified 0 0.925 from this point to this axis height is 0 0.925 for that just go to dimension select this one and select this one this height 0 0.925 it comes 9.3 so it's so okay undo now we just remove the unwanted edges by using delete segments this edge we don't want and this is we don't want so now we have created then just click ok go to extrude change the direction so here we just want to specify it as 2 next just ok now the one more feature the final feature is this round the radius of 0 0.25 that is we just want to make here further just go to option called round 
select this round now we just want to select the edge where we want to make a round so this edge just select it will come now the, the radius of round is 0 0.25 then just click ok now everything we have done just select this sided with edges just hide this plane hide all just go to here standard orientation now we have created this component using Creo parametric thank you for watching please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you